The big ones thunder across the field. The fast ones fly through the air. The brave ones sail the seas. And sometimes the toughest would rather just take it all in. They're all fun-loving, trash-talking, hard-working, animal mascots that let it all hang out for the universities across our great country. And we will reveal which ones are the best. It's Mascot Madness on Animal Planet. Hello folks, and welcome to Mascot Madness here on Animal Planet. I'm Lee Corso, and for the next 60 minutes, we'll count down the top 10 animal mascot categories as voted on by you, the viewers, at AnimalPlanet.com. I'll handle things here in the studio. We'll talk about some of the great stories behind the mascots, the school history, the fantastic traditions. Then. Category by category, we'll go out in the field where Animal Planet resident expert Jeff Corwin This is with a wild selection of real live creatures. So let's get to it. This is the number 10 animal mascot category in our countdown. Bugs. Of course, most mascots are cuddly and cute, but a few schools wanted something with a little more sting. One of the most famous wing warriors is the Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket. One of the oldest, most respected mascots of all time, the name originally didn't refer to the beloved Buzz, rather to the fact that cheering fans showed their support by wearing yellow coats and jackets. Another bug that sting is the Delaware State University Hornet. This mascot was selected by the student athletes in 1942. And who could think of creepy, crawling leaders of cheers without remembering the University of Richmond's own Spidey the Spider? Let's creep over to Jeff Corwin and see what's crawling in his neighborhood. Here's a lovely but deadly lady for you. You may have heard of the Black Widow Spider, right? Now, maybe the University of Richmond didn't have this particular creature in mind when they adopted the term Spidey, but they would do well to follow this arachnid's lead as the venom of this creature is so potent that it's actually 10 times stronger than the venom of a rattlesnake. Something else that's powerful about this creature is the silk, the webbing it produces. It has the tensile strength of steel, but only one-fifth the density. The term spider comes from an old English word meaning spinner. And let me tell you, this creature moves like the University of Richmond players who spin webs around their competition. Check out these black and yellow striped beauties. They're called yellow jackets. Now, the members of the wasp family and belong to the group of social creatures we call hymenopterans. They build nests and of course, the colony shares that nest with the queen. And let me tell you something, these little guys mean business. Because unlike bees which collect pollen, yellow jackets are hunters and they devour other insects and even small animals for food just as a swarming linebacker devours quarterbacks speaking of swarms we have the men of the university of arkansas monticello bowl weevils when the school chose the weevil as its mascot nearly a century ago the area was a top producer of cotton just the whisper of bowl weevil sends chills through the cotton farming community so the sport team wants to do the same for their competition Check out this baby right here. It's a Mexican red-legged tarantula, and it is just absolutely gigantic. In fact, it's one of the largest species of spiders living in the Americas. But amongst the arachnids, the spider group, there's approximately 800 different species. And what they all share in common is that they've got eight legs. And hey, that sure would help on a fast break. Big spiders like this, they don't give me the chills, but how about you, Lee? Do big tarantulas like this, do they give you the chills? Do they creep you out? Whoa, you bet they creep me out. Keep that hairy guy away from me, please. But hey, it's just that creepiness that makes the bugs such a great mascot. 